Hello, fellow home office worker. It's been some challenging weeks due to COVID-19. And these weeks make me think, make me think what to do different when presenting to my customers and also internally. So I've started to change the appearance of my WebEx meetings. So essentially what I'm doing is during my WebEx sessions, I remove the background of my video and put the presentations there so I can move every customer or internal audience through the presentation. In the next 10 minutes, I want to walk you through the process, how this is done, and how you can make your presentations even greater. So stay tuned. Once you've downloaded OBS, you just Google OBS or just download it here in the link downstairs at the, at the comments section. It should pretty much look like this if you start it up. So you have this black screen, you have the first scene happening, and that's it. Once you have this set up, we start with uh, the scenes. First thing we need to take care of is the camera. So I would rename this one. You can do this by hitting enter and just giving it a name. In my case, it's the webcam, which makes sense, right? And then don't hit enter, just click somewhere. It's just a back of OBS. So if you hit enter, it deletes it again. It's just a naming, don't really bother. The first thing we need to do now is adding sources. Video capture device here at the plus button. Click video capture device. Give it any name, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I showed this also a little bit already earlier. So if you go into this video up here, you pretty much see the same or you can skip forward um, a little bit. Or you can skip forward just a little bit. Then you choose your camera. In my case, I've got this one here and I've got another one here. This is the one I'm actually looking at and this is the other one to demonstrate what I'm doing. So we just add the camera. Simple as that. Looking good, as you can see here, I'm uh, still in front of this green cloth. So we're recording this here, as, uh, as you know. And now I want to make sure I remove the green screen and this little problem here at the side, which is the, which you still still see the, 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 the green cloth. So no worries, we can do that. It's very, very simply done. First thing we do is we add the green screen remover. We go for that, right click on this thing, on the video capture device and go on filters. Here we go on plus to add another filter and we choose the chroma key. Chroma keys removing that green behind us. And once we click it, boom, it's already gone, right? It already works out of the box rather, rather well, I would say so. So for now, we just accept this. We don't go into tweaking and twisting because I want to show you the way how the presentation is done. You can see that also in the other videos that I uploaded. So now we're here. This already looks quite nice, but we still got a little bit of areas we don't want to have in the video. I just, you know, for this for this matter, just upsize this. And now I'm here as expected. That's this. Now we add another scene. We call this scene presentation lower right. I'll show you now why that. Presentation lower right, I'll put it on top just so now I add, again, the camera. The camera is now saved into a scene, so we can easily reuse it in different scenes with the particular settings. So like we have zoomed it, we have chroma keyed it, so we don't have to do that all over and over again. We add this scene. You can just do this by adding the scene, webcam, and here we are. See, this is exactly the webcam scene. You see that the background is already cut, the green screen is cut out. And as I said, we call this lower right, so we just Make us a little bit smaller, like where I'm right now here. I'll take take probably one of the cameras off. So we're here in the lower right of that screen. Now we add what we would call the actual presentation. So now it's getting tricky. Now please listen carefully. We now go to our PowerPoint, which we opened up or will open up now. In my case, I'll just jump over. So we have here the PowerPoint presentation, which I prepared for this a very important presentation with a very important topic. I can click through this or I can just start my presentation by clicking on slideshow. This is PowerPoint. This would work equally well with um, Keynote to some extent. So what do we do now? We just do slideshow. And now we are in the slideshow. Now with 
Command Shift. All right, these two two buttons here. We go or Alt Shift on the um, alternative or Option button Shift on the PC. Now we move back to OBS. What do we need to do? We'll add a layer, Window Capture. This is another layer in the sources. And now we choose the window. Which window is it? Exactly. Microsoft PowerPoint, you can see this here, slideshow. You click on it and look what miraculously appeared. Now, since I do not have a standard size 16 by nine um, display, I need to wiggle around a little bit with it like this, but it, it works well. Now it's still on the wrong position, so we can either drag and drop it here or just click this little arrow to move it below. And wonderful, what happens? I'm now part of the presentation. That's already quite cool, isn't it? Now we can also think about, now nah, maybe we'll want me a little bit bigger on this one. I can still move around like, you know, just getting me more into distance. So as, as we want it, and there we are. Now that's cool. Click on the right and click on Windowed Projector Preview. In the newer OBS versions, this is the only thing that works. Full screen projector could also work, but it doesn't because it uses this totally useless Apple full screen mode, which I don't know why it exists, but that's my personal opinion. Windowed Projector Preview. If you click that, well, see what happens. Now, what you can see here, if I, you know, I can move this around and I can click on OBS, it doesn't disappear. To have that happening, let's close it again. To have that happening, go on settings and make sure at the projectors in the general tab, you have clicked on make projectors always on top. Why we do that, I'll show you in a minute. For now, just click OK. Click again on the right button, click on Windowed Projector Preview, and here we are. So now we have this little window which previews everything we see here. If we now switch over to the PowerPoint, it still remains seen. I can now even go in and slip, flip through the presentation and I remain inside this presentation. Right, you see this happening all the time, back, back and forth. So that works. And that's the whole point of it. Let me show you why. So if we now start, for example, a WebEx session, but this could be a Zoom or Microsoft Teams or any session. If we now start the session, so we turn off the camera deliberately because we want to be part of the video we are sharing so the presentation where we want to share. So we start the meeting and once the meeting is started, we do not turn on the camera because that's not what we want. We don't go and start my video. We click on share content. That's a big difference to everything we've done before, right? We want to share this little window we see here. So we go on share content and then we choose OBS as the application we want to share. Do not share your whole screen because it will make things look a lot of odd. But before we click on share, very important, change in WebEx at least, optimize for text and images to motion and video. This is very important, else you will not get any good experience because the picture will scatter around. But that's actually what we want, we want the motion. And you can optionally here in WebEx at least also share your computer audio. I'm not 100% sure how that works in Teams or in Zoom, but I'm pretty sure they will have similar options there. Once you've clicked and make sure that this happens, and this is what you have to check every time you do this, because else the experience will be low. Now you click on share. Great. So what you're sharing now is all this. We don't want that. We just want to share this little window. So what do we do now is resize it to full screen. Do not click this one. This will not work with what we are having, what we are wanting to do. Move it up and resize it to full screen. That's it. 
So what we have now is we're now sharing this part, so this presentation. Remember when I told you that we are in need to have this always on top, even if we are in a different application? Now we come to the point where this is beneficial, because now we need to still control our power point, which we right now can't. If we now click back and forth, nothing is going to happen. So what we need to do now is again, we go to command shift. So we change back to the PowerPoint. It doesn't change the display though. So it's changing, transmitting the picture. And now we can flip through the slides inside this video projector. So we're now able to share our slides. We're on the bottom right. We can talk about them, etc., etc. So this is one way to do it how you can actually walk through the presentation. And this is basically just a camera trick. It's changing the angle of the camera, making sure it gets a wider shot or at least a little bit more distance. Let's make some adjustments to the camera and then I'll come back. As you can see now, I've uh, adjusted the camera so this doesn't look very well anymore. So what I would normally do is I would uh, add another scene. So in this case, we just duplicate the scene give it a different name, enter, call it stand up and move it where we want to have it. I want to have it on top. And now we just go in here, keep everything like it is, click on the actual webcam inside the stand up scene. And you see this red little thingy, just pull it up again to the full screen. You see where I'm getting at, right? Now again, we click on right and on window projector to have this little thingy and we pull it up to be full screen. If you have a little uh, presenter like this one here or any other presenter you have, we can walk in front of the presentation. Again, if we go command shift back to the PowerPoint, we can now go through the slides and we are an immersive part of the presentation. We can really interact with the significant other. We can go through and say, Look at this incredible agenda. Point one, two, three. Very important. Watch it. And have you ever thought about this happening? Oh, here it is. This is so important stuff. We can also walk out of the presentation and walk in again. And we can say, if you want to have some drama, click the B button. B is for black. And then we are just in the middle of the presentation. Now you can take this even one step further. Remember when I told you that in WebEx, probably in any other uh, sharing application, you can add audio from your PC. So I could now start and play live in the WebEx session music to dramatize my presentation like this. So I'd like to say thank you for watching this video. I really hope it could bring you somewhat of an experience and it well some tools so that you can be a better presenter. So thank you for your time. And I've got one more thing. I've got one more thing. Let's come, on, let's let's look at that. Remember when I said there's a way of um, putting a green screen in there without having a green screen? It's called Snap Camera. It's a camera emulator, virtual camera thingy you can do all these fancy effects with. Well, you can also just emulate a green screen with it. Um, you know, just type in green screen and you'll find plenty of green screens. You just choose any that, that works for you. Make sure you have the right camera selected. I don't, so I just choose the right camera, which is just in this case, the Tamper HD. And here you go. Now what it does, it takes my picture, my face, and as you can see, it's not 100% accurate. My fingers get cut away and it's, I don't like it, but it's a way for some people that is enough. So this is also how Zoom does it in their, in their video conferencing uh, software. It just basically recognizes the pattern of the face and the body, uh, but it really has struggles when it comes to fingers and uh, more you know, separate parts. Still good to have a not so noisy background, but you can see the difference here uh, on the bottom uh, where I have my camera and really taking out the green screen. 
and you have it here. Snap camera is installed, you have to download it. Uh, also just Google or click on one of the links down here where you can get it. Snap camera, uh, it's also free, it's from Snap. And now you go back into OBS and we'll just copy this again. So we duplicate this, right click on the lower right scene, duplicate and call it lower right snap. I'd like to put it up again, so add another scene for webcam. Snap cam, let's call it snap cam. And here we go now, we have snap cam running in the background, right? Just don't forget that. We add again video capture device and now we select the device snap camera. Ooh, what's that? It's a green me, wonderful. We scale it up. Now we go and right click, filters as we've done before and add the chroma key filter. I go a little bit quicker because you've done this before. You must have learned. So as you can see, it, it does do some, it does do a job, but here, here you have this problem. I can show you more demonstrative if we go on the lower right snap and here choose to um, add the right camera. So we go back and add the scene. The scene is snap cam. We've done this before, so I do it quite quickly. And then we bring it down to the lower right as we have done before. So as you can see here, it is not great compared to the other webcam. But it does, it does its job generally. Again, we can jump back to our PowerPoint, which still is open, right? We have this scene. We jump back and we can see, oh, now we're taken out. But we have a little bit of a, you know, finger cutting solution. So you probably just stay strict. Don't move around too much with your fingers and arms, because it will cut them out. But if you just want to be on the lower right, or just want to have some sort of solution that does this, it is okay to do so. The rest of the process remains the same as we've done before, so create a window preview, resize it to full screen. This concludes my presentation. Thank you again for your time. Please comment below, ask questions. I try to help and probably the community will also try to help you very much. Thanks a lot and um, have a safe virtual experience in the future because this is not going to go away very soon. Thank you for your time. Subscribe, please, and comment below. Thank you.